Well, we had a close scrimmage against Arizona State. Now we had a scrimmage in front of fans with the lights on to see what that would feel like. And I like my team. We've got a long way to go. Uh, it's playing together. It's making each other better. And we've got a lot of really good pieces, but it, it takes a while to build a team, and we're in that process right now. So we'll take some of the good and the bad from today's performance and get ready for our opener against a very good Fullerton team on the six. But happy with where we're at, but no, we got a long way to go. Dutch, happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday. you so much. Uh, what was on the birthday wish list about this game and what came true? Well, I'm only one guy on the team knew how old I was, and they all underguessed my age, so it was a great night. So, but then I, uh, we got done with the game, and they had a, a red velvet cake for me, so I had a piece of cake on my way up, so it couldn't be any better. How many birthdays have you celebrated on the basketball court? This might be the only one I think we've had where we played on my birthday, so that's pretty cool. So it was fun. No, it's just it's what you'd expect. I have a lot of really good, talented players, and they're trying to figure out how they fit within the offense, and sometimes they press a little too hard, uh, which I understand. That's the nature of the game. So uh, at some point, we'll get really comfortable playing together. We're not there yet. We have good pieces, but we're not a, a great team offensively yet because we have to learn to play better together. Yeah, I hope, I hope to have him back by the opener. That's the, the hope, and he's missed some time. But it, the thing is, it's a shoulder, so he's able to keep in shape. So he's running every day, and he's, he's keeping his conditioning up. You know, it's not like he's at an ankle or something like that where he comes back and he's out of shape. So I think he'll be in pretty good shape. It's just getting his game timing back when he comes. Yeah, I mean, we pick up full court, we pressure the ball, and we switch some screens, and they made some threes. But, you know, it, the hard thing is just maintaining your concentration. That's the hardest thing in basketball. When something doesn't go right or you make a mistake is to concentrate at the other end of the floor, and that's just maturity. That's why the older guys do it better than the younger guys because they play more. So they've all got to get comfortable in their roles and, and, and continue to grow their games within what we do as a team. Yeah, I think someone rated schedules, and they say we're playing the hardest schedule in the country this year. So <laughs> I told the guys, when we can't ease into the season. We're going to get tested right away. So we have to be ready for that test. And I like my veterans. I like guys that have played a lot of minutes on the court. And these two guys next to me have played minutes, and uh, they'll be important to our success. For a freshman, just how impressed were you with Miles' performance tonight? And, uh, and what did you on the Miles Bird or Miles Heidi? <laughs> Heidi, yeah. Heidi was good. You know, he's still learning. I mean, the first time he ran down the court, he ran down the court like uh, it was uh, recess in the sixth grade. He just ran straight down the court. He didn't know where the ball was, <laughs> but he ran down the court. But he's, he's learning. Every time you're on the floor, you learn something. So I thought he had a good game. You know, he grew from the Arizona State scrimmage and, and, and grew his game, and he'll continue to grow. Like freshmen, they have a big learning curve to step up to college, especially when you're a big because uh, it's so much more physical. And, you know, Jaden, I'm sure he, his arms are going to be bruised tomorrow, all the, the shots he took underneath. So it's a physical game in there. Going from one mile to the other mile with Miles Bird, he was all over the court tonight, uh, taking steals, rebounds. Like, how can you assess his performance tonight? Yeah, Bird did a good job. He played very aggressive. I thought his defense was good. He got deflections. He got steals. You know, both he and Lamont ran the point for us most of the game. and. I didn't like the fact that they had seven turnovers between them. You know, I wish they'd take better care of the ball, but again, that's just part of becoming more comfortable together and knowing where their reads are. Coach, uh, a week from tonight, they're going to have a banner displayed. Uh, as you look forward to that, I mean, what kind of emotions do you think will be sort of going through you and Henry Jr.? It'd be great. Great to see two more banners for conference titles hung up and a Final Four banner. Uh, so we're excited for that night. And with that being said, it's not going to be any fun if we lose a game. So we have to enjoy that moment, but we have to be focused and ready to play our opening game of the season. I got a question for uh, Jaden and Elijah. You know, obviously, you're going to be counted on to play inside, but you also showed your ability to score from the outside as well this year. Uh, how are you looking to 
to you know make your presence felt all over the court on the offensive side of the ball? Uh, I would just say knowing when to uh, roll and knowing when to pop. You know, I feel like sometimes today I popped too much. You know, I didn't take advantage of my size inside. <clears throat> but um, just finding that balance between rolling and popping and when to play powerful and when to, um, you know, step on the perimeter is just, that's going to be the biggest challenge with that. Um, yeah, just, you know, to echo what he said, I mean, a lot of my, you know, game plan is to get going on the inside, you know, see the ball go through the net a little bit and then, you know, get out to the outside, but I mean, just, you know, us using our physicality, I know that's a staple we do too here. So just, you know, like you said, using that balance. What was it like getting to, you know, run against uh, opposing teams in, uh, you know, with fans in the building, you know, the whole hoopla of everything on the game? What was the feel for how the chemistry was developing uh, in that first kind of showing public? Yeah, it's uh, fun to play against a different team. Uh, you know, I feel like this week of practice especially was really competitive. Um, and, you know, now that we're playing all together against an opponent, I feel like, um, you know, it's good for us to build chemistry on the court all as one compared to playing against each other all the time. You know, I agree. It's, it's a lot funner to play games and have practice. So, I mean, just, you know, coming out here with the fans and all the electricity, I mean, I remember – this time last year, I had, the, I had like a little adjustment period, so I'm glad we had it. Jaden, you had, uh, we didn't get stats, so I don't know what it ended up being, but you had double figures and fouls drawn. Um, is that a, a stat category you look at and, and take pride in? Um, I mean, I didn't really think about it like that. I just like to, like I said, like make my presence known and uh, play physical. I mean, that's what we kind of want to carry over from last year to this year. So I was just, you know, how I start off the game, kind of set the tone. Dutch, what, what does that do with an opponent when a guy is drawing that many fouls? You know, he fouled a guy out. I think he, you know, he played, uh, shot 10 free throws and 20 points, 11 rebounds. So I think that's going to be a standard for him. I mean, he's uh, maybe didn't have 11 rebounds. He had uh, fouls drawn, I think is what it is, 11 fouls drawn. Eight rebounds, but he's a physical presence in there. So I don't, I got to make sure he gets the fouls he deserves. You know, he draws a foul almost every time he's in there, and eventually the rest don't want to call him all. So he's a physical presence in there, and he, he's tough to guard. Elijah, well, as you're looking for, to find your fit in the team, you obviously showed a lot of things tonight um, outside shooting, offensive rebound. I mean, what is it that you're focused on as you're thinking about getting your role in your place for this team? Uh, just. You know, trying to challenge myself more on the defensive end, you know, that's something Coach Dave and Coach Acker have really been on me about is, um, you know, we lost AG, we lost Keyshad, we lost Nate. Um, those are guys who rebound hard and defend. And, um, you know, for me to step into that role of the things they did, um, you know, that's really where I'm trying to, what I'm trying to focus on. Dutch, anything uh, that you really would like? I just I thought our pressure was good, our full court press. You know, we bothered him some with that, made it hard to bring it up the floor, and thought we rebounded pretty good. We got a lot of free throws, not as many in the second half. We shot a ton in the first half. We got to shoot better percentage, but we got to the line. And I just think guys were pressing their game a little bit earlier, taking quick shots like we did against Arizona State, trying to get themselves into the game instead of letting the game come to them. But I'm not surprised by that. That's the nature of basketball. Until they get comfortable, you know, they're all pressing a little bit too hard at times. Coach, Elijah was talking about um, the defensive end, a lot of newcomers. How are they adjusting to the expectations of the Aztecs and the way you play defense? They're doing a good job for the most part. You know, there's always things to learn, but I thought they played hard, you know, most of them. And we'll go back at the tape and teach to it. And, you know, the, the, the good thing about this team is they want to be taught, they want to get better. You know, they don't shrug their shoulders and act like we don't know what we're talking about. They're trying to please their coaching staff, and usually when they do that, you get better as the year goes on, and that's our goal. We want to get better as the year goes on. When you play Miles Hiding and Marche Johnson um, next to Jaden, I mean, what is it that you're looking from them um, to add to just what you look for? Just to be physical in there, add a post presence, because Jaden has a versatility to play out on the floor or underneath. 
he can do both. So for those guys to be a physical presence, to rebound, to defend in the low post, you know, to run the floor, put pressure on the defense, and, you know, contribute where they can. Uh, not really. I just my main thing is just staying aggressive and uh, you know just picking my spots and knowing when to attack. I mean, we're kind of interchangeable in a way, so you know I just you know kind of keep it you know same. That you mentioned the press um, is that something you think we'll see more of this year? Um, I hope so. If we we play a lot of players, you got to have depth to press all games. So we get Darion back, we'll have you know depth is all based on who's productive. You know, we'll play some guys, and if our production drops, then we won't play as many guys. So if our production stays high, we'll play a deep bench again. So it all depends. They'll determine that, not me. Does being in the Mountain West with so many altitude games kind of change the perspective on, on trying to press for a whole season? You know, just you do it at sea level, but it's a different deal when you're at altitude. Yeah, if you don't have depth, you're not going to press at altitude. You're going to wear yourself down. So we press selectively more probably on the road than we do at home. We press most of the time at home to try to increase the defensive pressure when they're in this building. Jaden, you know, I have the same question I asked Coach. I mean, a week from tonight, we're going to have the Baroness on display on uh, his experience last season. What do you think, you know, think looking forward to the emotions of the crowd? I mean, what, what kind of emotions do you think you guys are going through that as the home spirit? Um. I mean, it is definitely emotional. We had a little event the other day, celebrated. But, I mean, as Coach Dutch said, I mean, it's not going to be as fun if we take an L. So, you know, we kind of got to stay focused and just take care of our job. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, it's fun to <clears throat> relive those memories that we shared. Um, you know, but this is a new year. This is a new team. Um, we still got to stay focused on the task at hand. You know, I just noticed such more comfort and confidence from both of you with this being you know, second year that is you know, being on the court with the program. You know, talk about what that's allowed you to do in terms of you know, not only expanding your game, but expanding how you interact with your teammates, you know, some of the newer players coming in and others you know, that are also growing with you as part of the court. Um, yeah, I mean, I can relate to them, you know, Hand to hand because I was in their position last year. Like you know, I was trying to press, trying to kind of figure myself out within the offense. So like, I kind of I know what they're going through. So just you know, talking to them, keeping them positive is my biggest thing. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, it's hard coming into this program and you know all the coverages and uh, all the defensive stuff and uh, how we compete. Um, you know, it could be hard at first. So you know, just trying to relate to the new guys and you know try to give them advice. Um, that's what I'm, all I'm trying to do. Dutch, for Monday night against San Marcos and an exhibition that doesn't count for much, uh, what did you just make of the crowd and turnout? It's great. I mean, Aztec Nation's excited for basketball to start again, and they'll be here in numbers for Fullerton. They were here tonight for an exhibition game. But once we start the regular season, the building will be full, and we'll feed on that. And we'll help us uh, have the home court we've had for a lot of years here in Viejas. Coach, Miles Bird uh, made a big impact off the bench tonight. Um, he showed out on really both sides of the floor. Is that is that what you expect from him? Yeah, it's good to see him play defense. So <laughs> that's the biggest learning curve. And he's out there competing. He's getting hand hands on balls, and he's deflecting, and he's coming up with steals, and he's playing with high energy. So, you know, you come to this program, you have to defend at a high level, and then – he played a little freer offensively, and like I said, other than the turnovers, I thought Miles had a real solid game. And going off that, Cal State San Marcos shot around 15% in the second half. What made it so easy for your team to defend? I think like most teams, I think they got tired. You know, they had foul trouble, and we wore them down, and it's hard to shoot the ball on tired legs. So maybe they were getting some of the same shots, but they weren't going in because they were probably uh, fatigued. We wore them down as the game went on, and we do that to a lot of people.